Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol, until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Touch it! Too dangerous! It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. 
but to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. The size of that ship! The Ascension. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just... Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm... I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the Council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. <laughs> the Council's had a grudge against us since the First Contact War. I don't think it's a grudge. I think it's... Look, if you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, sir. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. I come from a military family too. My parents were both Navy. Anybody in your family we might know? Couldn't say, Commander. We probably have a lot in common. You join up to carry on the tradition? Mainly I wanted to serve. Protect the Alliance, save lives, you know. Glad to hear it. I'd hate to think you were out here for a free college education. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. We'll talk later, Williams. Commander Shepard now? 
We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. Tell me you didn't hear that. Afraid I did. Oh, shoot me now. One of my sisters. That's Sarah, the youngest. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up what's her name? To Sony? Liara? Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her? Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah, took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized, but he never made it above servicemen third class. He was real proud when I made chief. First thing he did was salute. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be, able to raise kids while dad's away on a six-month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us, though. You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest. She's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. Where did you grow up? All over. Same as you expect. We transferred a half a dozen times before I finished grade school. You go where personnel command sends you, right? I guess that's why I'm so tight with my sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. I was an only child, but I get the idea. At least one of my parents was always on duty. Yeah, military families, eh? With schedules like that, it's a wonder we ever have kids anymore. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like your father wasn't around much. Wasn't your family stationed near him? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. So behave. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Everyone has the right to believe what they want. Says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. You know, you really should talk to Tassoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper.
Miss Williams, Commander, we need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become... awkward. Oh, awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. Maybe we should try to work this out. I think we must. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. Jealous? Of you? You're not even our species. Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. Doctor, you keep smart-assing me, I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. Both of you, settle down. We can handle this like mature adults. This is stupid. We're not married, Shepard. You want to get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. You're special to me, Ash. Yeah. Kind of hard to feel special while you're always chatting with your little blue friend on the side. Or is that my role? This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. I never should have told you of my feelings, Shepard. I have put you in a terrible position. I am sorry. You were right to tell me, Liara. I feel the same way. I've heard enough. We're resolving this now, Shepard. Me? Or her? I never meant for you to get hurt, but... Ash... is the one I really care about. I understand, Commander. Perhaps it is for the best. She is one of your own kind. I am sure you and Miss Williams will be very happy. I should... go. I need to check on something. Dear God, I think I actually feel sorry for her. That's a surprise. A second ago you seemed ready to break her neck. Or yours. No one likes to feel like they're not good enough to get what they want. Let's not talk about this here. It's not really the right setting for intimate conversation. You know where to find me. Hey, Skipper. Any interest in a small drink? It's a special occasion. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. I should have figured this out myself. I don't know how I can help you, though. Look at who I am, Shepard. Do you ever hear me ask for help? It's not that bad things don't happen to me. If you stay with me long enough, maybe I'll tell you about some of them. But I deal with them myself. I don't need a shoulder to cry on, a knight to rescue me, or a man to make me happy. This is who I am. I like her. And you better like her too. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Everyone comes with baggage, Ash. The trick is finding a match set. <laughs> That's awful. Tell me you got that out of a fortune cookie. But hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. The Alliance isn't perfect, but it does well enough. Have to disagree with you there, Skipper. Giving aliens the run of our most advanced ship? Kowtowing to the Council? The Alliance should be able to stand on its own. We can't. Yet. Why not learn from the races who've been standing for the last thousand years? 
How can you say that, given everything we've seen out here? They're already acting like Saren is our problem, already sticking us on the bear. The council races will always think of themselves first. It's... human nature. We can't afford to trust them, not if the survival of humanity is on the line. Ash, you believe in God, an infallible, all-knowing creator with a plan for the universe. You think the diversity of views in the galaxy wasn't part of that? I don't know what God intends, Shepard. I don't think humans have some divine mandate, if that's what you mean. I don't think we're superior. Humans are aggressive. We think fast, we move fast. Wars have started because of our need for constant progress. The Council can balance that. Well, that's... Huh. I guess I never thought of it that way. All big picture, I mean. It doesn't make what happened to Grandad any better, though. What happened to your grandfather shouldn't have happened. Well, at least somebody knows that. And a Star of Terror recipient, no less. Grandad must love that. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. What's your opinion on the last mission? A little spooky how you handle that John guy. Didn't figure you'd know how to speak corporate. All you need to do is show them how getting what you want gets them what they want. You make it sound easy. Frankly, I just wanted to put a few rounds in him and leave. We'll talk later, Williams. I... I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Elenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. I'm sorry, Ash. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. I know, and I'm grateful. But Caden died because of me. Because of us. Ash, how far are you going to drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose you because of it. Aye, aye, Shepard. Commander, excuse me for a... I hope we can get the Council to give us a hand, Skipper. Alanko, the Lieutenant, I'd hate to think his loss meant nothing. They're right, you know. We don't have much proof. My visions and the word of a rebellious specter. We've got our suit recordings. That's something. There's a reason for everything that happened, Shepard, even if you don't understand it at the time. Your assignment to Elysium. It put you in the right place at the right time. Your character made you rise to the occasion. And that got you here, commanding the finest tin can in the Alliance fleet. This is exactly where the galaxy needs you to be. No pressure. Where do you need me, Chief? Wouldn't mind a foot massage, sir. Sorry. I'll be serious. I... I need time to think. We've been focused on the mission. When we're done, it'll be different, I swear. You all right with that? I understand, Chief. The galaxy isn't gonna save itself. The cheering mobs will never know how much you've sacrificed, Commander. Sleep tight, Shepard. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Uh, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. But I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. We have an advantage. We know they're coming, and we know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. We'll talk later, Williams.
How you holding up, Skipper? This isn't over yet. You're an optimist, Shepard. I guess we'll have to consider this part of humanity's learning experience. We'll figure it out. We have to. Can I count on you to be there? I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I... want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. You made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. I've had a hell of a time figuring you out. But I think I have. I want you to be happy, too. You better. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Sounds important. You'd better go. Skipper? You don't have to call me that. I'm a traitor now. I probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. You're full of surprises. Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into plath. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers. Sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. I couldn't blame the Council for calling us reckless or aggressive. Just a few months ago you would've. I've had some things to think about since coming aboard. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. I believe you'll lead us through. Captain, my captain. Is my rank all you see when you look at me? No. I see a strong, passionate man. With a great ass. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. With me. Bold words, Shepard. I like bold. Shut up and get over here. Make me. That's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> you still sassing me, soldier? I think you need more physical training. Tisk. Now, what will it take to prove I'm in prime condition, Skipper? Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Well, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait, you know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. Shepard! Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. 
Get everyone onto the escape Joker's shuttle. still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Commander. Ashley, go. Now. Aye, aye. Everybody in. Go, go, go! Commander Shepard, Captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a god, Delan, back from the dead. Oh, the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you Alliance types. I thought you were dead, Shepard. We all did. It's been too long, Ash. How have you been? That's it? You show up after two years and act like nothing's happened? We had something, Shepard. Something real. I... I loved you. I thought you were dead. I almost... How could you put me through that? Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I'm sorry, Ash. I was clinically dead. It took two years to bring me back. So much time has passed. You've moved on. I don't want to reopen old wounds. I moved on. But here you are, pulling me back in. And now we've got reports about you and Cerberus. Reports? You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. We got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. I went to Anderson, but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Cerberus and I want the same thing, to save our colonies. That doesn't mean I answer to them. Do you really believe that? Or is that just what Cerberus wants you to think? I wanted to believe that you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. How could you just turn your back on all of us? You betrayed the Alliance. Anderson, you betrayed me. Ash, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? What if they're behind it? What if they're the ones working with the Collectors? Typical Alliance attitude. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're blind to the real threat. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of facts. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe it's you. Doesn't matter. I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. It's in my blood. I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. I could use someone like you and my crew, Ash. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'm no fan of aliens, but Cerberus has a history of being extremist. I'll never work for a group like that. Goodbye, Shepard. Just... Try to be careful. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Shepard. Ash. Lieutenant Commander, how'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. 
Lieutenant Commander. You hadn't heard? No, I hadn't. Sorry, Shepard. It's been... well... That's okay. Just glad I bumped into you, Ash. Me too. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Ashley needs medical attention. Scared me pretty bad back there on Mars. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. But where do we stand, Shepard? Did we cut all ties? A lot has happened, Ash. But I'd like to work this out. I'm surprised. Why? Rumor has it you worked it out with quite a few people. Mwah. I don't deny any of it. We both have history. We can dwell on the past, or admit we might have a future. So, what do you think? We take it slow, okay? Just give me some time. Okay. Okay, get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon, once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? If I have anything to say about it, yes. I'm glad. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did, but her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks, yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know, but I'm her big sis, you know? In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus, by Henley. 
one of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. Did you feel that? Gunman, get down! <laughs> Escape. He's with Cerberus. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening here? You know me better than this, Ash. I knew the old Shepard before Cerberus. Right now, I'm not sure who I'm dealing with. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Bodina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. What Shepard says is possible. Unlikely, but possible. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I'm gonna regret this. No. You're not. All right, Skipper. Udina. Step back from the console. To hell with this! Gun! Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but... I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Ash? Oh. What have we here? Oh, sir. I'm off duty. Your voice? Sir, not so loud. Please, thank you. Why are you curled up on the floor? Am I... Oh, my head... So heavy. Can't move. Ah. Enjoy your evening? I'll be back to work in 30. Maybe 40. I swear. Just give me 45 minutes. Shh. How did you end up in this sorry state? Just wanted to let off some steam. Vega said he had just the thing to take my mind off stuff. And did that thing come in a bottle? Yes. This empty bottle? It's empty. Oh boy. You know, I think it might be time to test the fire alarm. I'll pay you a million credits not to do that, sir. Two million, and we have a deal. <sighs> You're a damn space pirate. I could order Joker to sing to you over the comm. I hate you. 
I hate you... Sir. As you were, Williams. Mm. Cold floor. This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. All the shuttles zipping around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up, buy us ice cream, and cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You should bring Sarah up here. I will, when she's ready. She'll like the quiet. She wasn't the loud tomboy crashing around like I was. Sounds like you were a handful. Maybe. My dad got me. Jamie never met him. He would have liked you. You think so? Career military man? Yeah. Yeah, he would have invited you over, cooked you something on the grill, and talked your ear off. Ever think about what life would have been like outside the Alliance? Oh, sure. Tried to rebel against the whole military family thing when I was growing up. When my dad and I got into it, I'd threaten to run away with the next guy that came along. Really? He'd laugh and say, Good, I'll pack your damn bags myself. That tended to deflate me pretty quick. He knew I'd never stray far from the family. They're everything to me. That sounds great, Ash. But right now, I can't focus on anything but you. Well now. Those big, powerful Citadel arms giving you ideas, Commander? Maybe. Then maybe I have something to ask you. What? Well, we had something before. A long time ago. Something important. You've seen me at my worst. Totally embarrassing. You were there for me when my baby sister was suffering. I've... held a gun in you, Shepard. I'm just saying... We've been through a lot. I have to know. Are we... going somewhere? I want more, Ash. I can't see myself with anyone else. That's good. I'd hate to have to punch out whichever table-dancing tart is throwing herself at you this time. Such a romantic. You love it. Not Remind me. Yes, sir. Uh, having a bad day, Shepard? You could say that. <laughs> Landing pad is just over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. Nice outfit. Control panel, right. Stand back. Hang on. Hey, can you open the gate? Please leave. Well, I could have done that. Looking good, Commander. Lean and mean. Business now. Pleasure later. Mmm. Sir? Yes, sir. Thanks. There you are. Ready to see who's the real Spectre and who's the Pretender? Pretender, huh? Which one of us is still wearing training wheels? Laugh it up, Commander. It's all downhill from here. Rules are simple. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, game over. <laughs> this shouldn't take too long. Uh-huh. Glamorous and beautiful Superstar Spectre agent first. Sorry as pretender, next. I'll try and go easy on you so you don't break a nail, princess. You did not just say that. I sure did. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Know any poems about crying like a little girl? Cheap shot. You know, I expected better. I'm saving my best moves for later. 
best moves. At least if you're drunk, you have an excuse for how you dance. Boom! Keep it coming, Lieutenant. I can do this all night. Uh, you may have to. You taking charge of the situation, Lieutenant? Somebody has to. Sir. Hey. My friend doesn't like Alliance types. Buddy, we're right in the middle of something. I don't like Alliance types either. Rain check? Yeah. Hey. Wow, look who's here. How do you feel? <laughs> Great. This is perfect. Ever. Yeah. Come on. Let's see if anyone else is up. Time to get back out there, huh? At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. No. No, you'll find a way to beat the odds. And when you do, hero man, I'll be waiting. I wouldn't have missed any of it for the world. It's been a damn good ride. <laughs> Everything's ready, Shepard. What about you? Are you ready? Let's get it done and go home. We're not getting off that easy, Ash. <laughs> no. We looking at a rough ride? Ash, I get what you're trying to do. Hey, no brushing me off. Talk to me. What's going on? I'm not brushing you off. I'm just thinking about everyone we've lost fighting this war. I understand. And do I ever. You know, I was lost without you, Shepard. When I thought you were dead, it broke my heart. And then you found your way back. It was a miracle. Screw the science. It was a damn miracle, Shepard. I couldn't do this without you, Ashley. When I first met you back on Eden Prime, I saw a woman who never gave up. You lost your company, expected no help, and there you were, fighting an invasion single-handed. You don't need to say anything, Shepard. No, I do. Ash. I doubted you once, Shepard, and I lost you. That's not happening again. Just shut up and kiss me. Hey. How are you holding up? Restless. Everything depends on this. Think we have a chance? There's always hope. That's how we got this far. And you made it happen, Shepard. You're the reason we're here. I've had people like you picking me up and dusting me off when I stumbled. Lost count of all the times you've saved me. Almost as many times as you saved me, hero man. It always comes down to this. Feels like a thousand years since we met on Eden Prime. So much has happened. It's hard to figure out how we got here. You're a survivor, Ash. Always were. I hope you're right. Boldly they rode and well. Into the jaws of death. 
into the mouth of hell. I don't want you to go. I love you, Shepard. I love you too. You ready? I'm ready. Then let's get it done and go home. Aye, aye, Captain. Get out of here. With all due respect, Commander. Don't argue with me, Ash. Damn it, I can do this. I know you can. No matter what happens here today, I'll always love you. Shepard, I love you too. Go! And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. <laughs>